Hello, it's Markham Torture here for Markham 3D. Today we're going to be talking about random select. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe just to keep up to date with all my videos. So let's just start off. I'm just going to do Shift A. Let's add it in a plane. I'm just going to scale that up a bit. W and subdivide that. And let's bump up these numbers to 10. I'm going to do Control B and delete all those faces. So now I have a whole bunch of individual faces. Now I want to select each face randomly. So I can press spacebar, type in select random, and now I have a whole bunch of random faces selected. Cool. What can you do? Let's move these up a little bit. G, Z. Let's deselect them all. Space, select random. And now we're down to seed five. G, Z. Let's move these up a little bit. And I'm just moving them up manually. Uh, spacebar. Random select, GZ. Let's get rid of that. Spacebar, random select. And now you can see we're kind of getting a abstract type thing happening here. Cool. And let's just go E, extrude that down. And now it's kind of like we've got almost a whole bunch of buildings. I mean, they're very uniform buildings, but it's pretty cool, I have to admit. And it's something... You know, we've done very simply. We didn't go individually, select a whole bunch, move them. So that's what select random is. Um, we can go a little bit further. We can do some other stuff. So for instance, let's just delete that. Shift A, let's add in a circle. And let's go into vertex here, scale that up. I'm going to extrude scale inwards. Control R, let's put a whole bunch of edge loops in. And select everything, Control B. And we'll do what we did before, delete faces. And I'm just gonna do this a few times. Let's see what crazy things we can do. I'm gonna hide those faces and let's go select random, G, Z, hide these faces, select random, G, Z. Let's hide these faces, hide. And let's do one more, select random. G, Z. All right. So what we're going to do is let's go, let's put all these on a different object. So I'm going to go P, separate by selection. And might have to do all this manually now because I didn't think about this earlier because I was just kind of, you know, seeing what we could do. So I'm going to select all these objects. P, separate by selection. And let's just, oops, I missed some. Stuff them. Um, I'm just going to go delete these. And let's go to control L, delete vertices. Let's select these. Control L, P, separate by selection. And we'll deselect that. Let's go to this one now. P, oops, do control L, P, separate by selection. And there's a few, I forgot to do control L. So I've got a whole bunch of dirty vertices that aren't by themselves. So what we can do is we can come up into these layers. So you can see that we've got individual vertices. What we'll do is we'll select all vertices and then faces. Control I. Dang it. Go back to, let's hide all these. And now when we go back to vertices, we've got everything that's left over. And now if I do Alt H, now we've got our planes. So cool. This is, this is what we've got. We deleted a few. That's fine. What can we do though? Let's just set up the camera like this. I'm going to go into animation and let's say put I to rotate. So we're going to set a keyframe. Actually, let's come down here. Everything's changed a little bit. I don't have a timeline. That's the problem. So let's bring the timeline up here. Keying, we will set this as rotation and at about 
200 frames i want it to rotate z 365 times 8 i that did not work what a jerk so what i'll do is rotate rotate oh, can i do 840 here beautiful i and so we kind of got this rotation around z let's get this one let's do i let's go over 240 and we will rotate it only about 250 i and what do we got here let's go down to here I, um, this can be 500 minus I, and I believe we've got two more layers. I, let's come over to about here. We will do 300 in the minus. And this, I don't think I said a keyframe there. Nope. I, and let's put one more in the bottom layer. I, and this can move 80 degrees. I. So the problem is no, now is when we start playing it, everything just starts moving slowly. So we need to come over into the graph editor. So we'll change this to graph and T, nope. I'm just gonna select everything. T, linear, because we want it to be moving at a constant speed straight off the bat. And now we've kind of got this cool effect happening. And that was all with random select. Please make sure if you wanna help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button.